Alrighty then. We back. We comfy. We wild at heart. We are. Why are you doing the whole we? Because we. So, we haven't found anything useful yet. I'm pretty sure we can't afford any upgrades. Because that needed the camper, that needed the water wheel. Well, the thing is, yeah, the camper was surrounded by thorns. This needed the soul shell. Yeah. So all the upgrades we have access to are no dice. We're gonna craft. Um. Huh. What? Ramshackle that... contraption with a variety of uses. Is it a la lamp? A, a flare. flare. Drop them as a breadcrumb for a trail. Get up. Wait, or get a little break from the dark. To the creative huh. explorer, the possibilities are endless. Interesting. Is it a one use item or is it permanent? Uh, I think it's one use, but then it just sits there. I could be wrong. Oople juice, a healthy and delicious juice made from natural fruits. Drink to restore some hearts. Unknown item, recycled junk. Ah. One person's junk is another person's... Nope, still just junk. But hey, at least it takes up less space. Might also fetch more scrap than normal junk. Okay. So yeah, there's different things we can cook together. I don't want to mess with it too much. Because you might yet. be able to find more combinations later. Yeah, and also we need a number for upgrades. Uh... Oh. Oh, but that required big rock. I don't know. Let's just wander off and see where we end up. Yeah, you're right. Only only two of the little spritelings have horns, and one of them is kind of more buggish. Mm hmm Maybe that's the case. Oh, wait. It looks like nighttime. Are you going to get attacked? Oh, you're right. Should you be wary? Should you have the flare with you? Yum. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, we should go to bed. I haven't seen one of the creepy critters come out. Maybe this area yet, is just considered safe, but. Maybe. Why risk it? I'm curious about how the dark functions overall. Like. I think no matter what, we're eventually going to have to brave it. Mm -hmm. Because but I mean, I think you, you, weren't, you weren't attacked for the time that you were out. If it was immediate... Yeah, maybe certain areas are more dangerous than others. Oh, that's nice. Sleeping recovers my HP. Alright, well... Oh, it would rejuvenate you. It morning. I like the time of day mechanic for this. Do we have a clock anywhere? Bottom oh, right. Oh, yeah, it's the little sun. Yep. Okay. Oh, what are those stars? So these are... Oh, the stars are various things. Immediately, maybe useful yeah, the, things. Yeah, the exclamation points are the other sh verdant shields. Yeah. The green shields. Yeah, that we're supposed to find. <gasps> oh, a little fire one. What was that? I guess those guys have horns too. Mm -hmm. The bug one has more of like a pincer. Ooh, honeycomb, but you can't get near the honeycomb, can you? But maybe the fire sprite can smoke out the bees. Yep. Also, there seems to be waste around here. Of the chemical variety. Did you notice that over in the upper left? Ooh, oh, you're toxic right. Toxic poisonous. Oh, and there's a slime. I love the vacant, wide-eyed expression of the slimes and the little uh, the little fangs that they have. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's more that's less fangs and more just kind of droopy bits. Could it, be. Oh. Beastie, Beastie bits. bits. Leftover innards of an afflicted deep woods creature. While extremely smelly and unsafe for digestion, they'll do splendidly as an alchemical base. 
It was like beating a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Freaky. Well, it could be one of those weird things where the slime ingests a living creature, but then somehow dissolves it in such a way that its individual organs are kept alive longer. It reminds me of, aren't there certain venoms that spiders and other insects employ where they do keep their prey alive, but are allowed to ingest parts of them? I think so. Ooh. Oh no, beetle! Kind of a non-issue. Mm -hmm. There we go. But no, what we want. Reminds me of all the beetles I've had to spray outside. Ideas. Those guys are still breeding like crazy. Box elder buds. And right before this recording, she was like, "Oh man, you I know, I'm gonna the miss the cicadas." Oh, out east, yeah. Yeah. I always, I was always fascinated with cicadas. I think it's because for the longest time, I would only ever see them, uh, the, the moltings that they left behind on trees. You know, the ones where they're in their kind of nymph form? Yeah. Between being their regular little larval stage and the actual cicada with large wing stage. And I always thought that those were really cool because it just, it seemed as though they'd split down their backs to crawl out, right? Yeah. Dang, this thing's clogged up for good. Looks like it needs a strong pull to clear it. Well, that's good. E. <laughs> oh, and don't you notice? They ring the camp with lights. Yep. So, so maybe it's a safe at night, spot. the lights are on. That's nice. I like that. I don't know. This game is frankly really cool. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. And I also like cicada noises. During our first episode, I didn't really want to compare this to much, but this this is everything I wanted like Drake Hollow to be. Like you remember when we played Drake Hollow a couple years or a couple months ago? Yeah. And it was like, we were still wandering around grabbing supplies and stuff. And little bits of lore. Yeah. And whatnot. But like, there was no substance to it. It was just kind of, you were just there. Though, the thing I do miss is that individual drakes did have individual powers. Yeah, it would names. be nice if they had more personality. Whereas I think this is, this will be based off of Element. Yeah. I I always think back to the uh the Jin from um the Sun from Soul. Golden Sun. Golden yeah. Cuz Golden Golden Sun had such a good system cuz I just love I I love games where you have spirits or partners like that monster partners or something where you're not necessarily minion mastery but just that it, <coughs> More than just having a team of there. subservient creatures. Yeah. I mean, I suppose these ones, you're just throwing them around and having them do tasks for you, but... And so, like, in Golden Sun, you actually had to, like, recruit them, and it usually was, like, I'm not going to say a lengthy side quest... But it was always a process. Did you have to prove yourself to them? Yeah, sometimes it would be a boss fight, sometimes it would be a puzzle. Oftentimes it was just fight finding them. Burly burr. Local to frigid environs. This prickly plant has evolved to be quite durable. Its steadfast properties can buck up all manner wait, really? Buck up all manner of meals and potions. A bloomstone. A rare mineral imbued with the extraordinary attributes. Naturally luminous, this ore is also rumored to have other mystical properties when combined with the right ingredients. Okay. So we have this upper area, but I think that was... Something. Why don't we try going up there? Uh, 
we could. This oh, that, a... that looks like it can be cracked, but we need to follow the red imp. Or sprightling. Yeah. Okay. Is that someone? Well, or, oh. it seems that boulder is fractured. Perhaps you can craft something explosive for the camp to clear it away. Oh, There's our answer. So we don't need the fire. Yeah, I was going to say, instead of going for the... Uh... Oh, there's a kitty in a box. There is. But I don't see a way around unless... I oh, you need to get to that Yeah, plan. I think we go around. I think let's head for the fire sprite first. Ooh, this is an icy area. The, but we can't do ice yet. That looks like an ominous washing machine. Oops. Oh, no. Are they okay? Yeah, they're fine. All right. I just had to suck them back up. Can you play the arcade game? Not here. No. I know somebody was saying that you can play arcade games. But I don't think we have the capability yet. Oh, yeah, there's some fire guys. Oh, there's some something sparking over there. Yeah. But where the crud? The crud. Safe to humans, but deadly to sprightlings. Oh. Wait, you can go through the crud, but they... Oh, wait, can you push that rock aside, or is it te still tethered? Look at that on the left. Looks, you like have we, enough. looks like we can still move it. There's the shell. Hey! I love the crop circle designs on them. Oh, there. You seem to have located one of the lost implements from our many and operative facilities in the grove. This can aid us in restoring some of the many amenities our settlement can offer. See if your com companions can aid you in its collection, would you? Okay, so you need ten of them. All right, there we go. I suppose we should just bring that back to camp before going on, or are they taking it all the way home? They're taking it all the way back. Oh, there's a sword up there. Ooh, a wooden sword. Can you have them fetch it for you? Yeah. And we've already read the heart root resin. Okay. You break that. I like these little secret areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I. A lot of games get exploration kind of wrong, or just feels kind of irrelevant. Oh, do they have to carry it back for you too? Yep, that's fine. Remember, part of my goal was to... Get rid of them so that you could cross. Yeah, so I could get to the crud. Can you just kick the box and get the cat out? Oh. Oh. Maybe. I, I can't reach it, actually. Oh. And you need some creatures there. Yeah, and unfortunately, we can't pick that up. Oh. No. Well, that's neat. So they just take it back to the local waypoint to warp it back. Ahoy! We've just received the soul shell. Wonderful news! When you're able, return to the groves. We may begin repairs to our facilities. So I think what I need to do is actually toss some of my dudes onto that central island uh, carefully so I don't kill them and then suck them over so they can properly join me. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's see, we've still got plenty of time. Are you sure you shouldn't stick around to witness the sword getting dropped off? It'll warp. But you might be able to equip it. I don't think so. Yeah, I suppose not. See? We'll see. Yeah, what do they do with it? Oh. Wait, I've just received the relic you walked back to me. We have no place to display it just yet. But rest assured, I'll keep it safe until the Grove Trove is open. Oh, the Grove Trove. Return to me once you've found a suitable structure for the museum. We'll have the Grove Trove up and running again in no time. So you need the trailer, but we probably need the fire. I bet we need the bug. Really? There's like a bug one with scissor head. Really? Thing going uh, on. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see.
Okay, so they will not follow me. That's good. But you can suck those ones up. Yep. And you have the four that you need. Are you going to free the cat? Obviously. There we go. Oh, free the cat. Not so much free the cat as drive it from its hiding spot. Wait, did, did I just see little cat treats fly everywhere? The little fish ones? I think so, yes. Doesn't look like it can do anything with that. Oh, I see. It's an awkward ledge. Wake, you're in danger. Night is falling soon. You must get somewhere safe and quick. The dock is bad. Make haste for the nearest camp. Or return to the grove. We green shields find it best just to sleep till morning when it's safe, uh, till it's safe again. You do find yourself in the dark. I would advise you to seek out pockets of light. The navigators can't stand it. There That's interesting. So they didn't warn you the last time it had become dark. I think it's because it turned nighttime while I was in town. Mm. Um, you know, while well, I was in a safe place, so they didn't need to warn me. But I'm surprised they... So do you want to just stop here? Yeah. Okay. Got a lot of stuff to store anyway. Oh, let's see. I was kind of I... wanting to see what happens when night falls and you're in light. Uh... Well, here. Here's what we're gonna do. What? We can warp to this and then run down to the camp and then hang out. My assumption is just the longer you're hanging out and running around at nighttime, the more uh, nevers show up to harass you. Cat. Oh. oh. Well, it you... does make purring noises. Yeah, it does. Can you go to the lady to see how many more cats you need? Puns, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, increasing field sprightling capacity. Oh, that way you'll be able to get to the 20. And we can also buy more of those, but I care not. Whoa, really? Yep. Might as well. So now you can have 25 of them? Yeah, it looks like it. Let's see. Hatch pips, but I need... I need bits. Help! My cats are gone, and they're probably crying about it. Can you please go get them for me? Yes. Yes, thanks. Go get them. They're probably everywhere, but scared and hiding. If you see one, send them back home. Precious fur babies. You found more of my babies. This pleases me. Take this. A token of my catitude. Instead of gratitude. Oh my god! You've already found cats! Two to be exact. You are a feline hero. A filiero. There are still cats out there. Please find them. Okay, so it doesn't look like she gives she us an give accurate you a number. number. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. Time for some risk. Wait, you're just going to teleport and run down to that camp? Yeah, might as well. We just get there and it's just immediately covered in heck and it's like, oh no. <laughs> I've done that in a couple of games. I don't remember what it was, but I like teleported to the bad zone and just immediately... It was like, it was like Damage Ocean or something like that, but it just was not a good place for me. No! Oh! I'm just worried about the stuff coming out from the shadows. Oh, it's getting even darker. There they are. It looks like it just pops out. Harasses me. 
All right, that's good enough. I didn't really need to see them. I just wanted to see. What do they look like? What are they? What time is it? Oh, we got time. I'm really cutting my schedule a bit close. Pussy didn't want to get the 20 necessary to move that other boulder. I need to get more of this stuff. Oh, right, because you need to create the sprightlings first. I do appreciate how they just kind of hang there in so the water. So for the different areas. Oh, we're on the opposite side. Oh, there's, size. there's the mushroom men. Not for long. Oh, that bridge is covered in the the corruption. Yeah, so there's there's got to be a way to clear it. I just don't know how. Uh... Well, there's something in that bush. Over to the left, see? It rustled. Usually just scrap. Oh, really? What could have made the rustling? And you can't... Oh, there's the big cauldron. Yeah, but, but it you looks can't like... destroy it from the spike side. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go around in some way, shape, or form. It's fine. Oh. And that one where's, has a heart. Where's my other one? They lose one? I don't know. If you go back to camp, don't they just pop up back up again or no? Oh no, I have all fifteen. Mm-hmm. One of I think the just... one the heart one is just taking up more space. Yeah. No biggie. Oh, you never did open up whatever that door was. Uh which one? The windmill. Well, yeah, because it became nighttime. It became nighttime, so you should go back and do that. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get the fire sprites anyway. Because, mm -hmm. I don't know. Having having more types is going to open up way more doors. I'm just trying to get as many of these streets as possible. Now that we know that the, uh, the blue resource is how you uh, buy, them. like, half of your upgrades, I want to just hoard as much as I can get. Okay. Can you... Nah, you need to be on the other side. That's fine. But you don't need to bring Spritelings with you. Yeah, they'll just hang out there. There we go. There you go. And there's at least two of the flame Spritelings. Yep, which is all I need. Because that should let me, hopefully... Uh, let's see. Hello. That should let me oh. get to some new areas. You got Emberlings. Endued with fire, Emberlings are excellent fighters and immune to extreme heat. They're also capable of sparking a fire when thrown at dry brambles in large groups. Sprightling capacity has increased by five. Or, oh, has increased by five. Oh, really? So, so they, we can throw them at the yeah. thorns. Yeah. So now we can get that museum. But now, do the fire ones have to go at the fire bushes? Or do we need the water ones to go so at the, the fire So the reason bushes? why I want the fire bushes is... I... Well, I mean, probably progress. But I, be, I bet that's how we get more of them. You know how we've been popping open those blue fruits? Maybe. Can you choose which type you throw at them? Yeah. If you notice, bottom right, it determines who I'm sending first and foremost. Yeah, so they're immune to fire, so they can attack those. Uh, so those are just impediments. I was hoping I'd get fire fruits out of that. But Maybe you can matter. send them over to that. Oh, but you need five. What I'm trying to do... Oh, so I need five just to just set to the burn. bush on fire. All right. Mm -hmm. I guess let's go get more. Ah, let's, let's do a big murder first. Looks like you need a lot of gears. 
Bag is full. Oh no! Oh! One of your fire ones is holding the heart. Yeah. How can your bag be full again? Also, you got a spike. There we go. There we go. Oh! Oh, there's three more. More freebies. Just what you needed. More free boys. Hello, free booters. You're mine now. Unfortunately, my inventory is crazy full. Yeah, you need to craft and sell more. Yeah. Or figure out what was the upgrade that you needed to get the larger bag? Watermill, I think. Mm hmm. There we go. Okay, now I got five. Oh no! Okay. Uh, let's see. Wait, I... so they can't mix types? No, no, they can. They can. They're just suffering from being dungus. Confusion. Okay. Locks on. There we go. There's one of two, I think. Uh, let's see. Well, actually, that windmill seems to be the only one. I think then you just need two gears. Oh, that's probably it. So one gear you know is in the bramble to the south. Yep, that's exactly it. Boy, I should go back though. Inventory is crazy full. I do like the fact that you can, uh, like, you can effectively have your minions carry things around for you. Mm -hmm. I was going to like, inventory. well, your inventory is full, but that's not so bad. Unfortunately, I do not have enough fire dudes. Uh, oh yeah, they're, they're the two gears. That's, that's a nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm just... I guess let's just run back, see what else we can get. I'll see if I can pick up some more fire boys. They seem a little bit more, I don't know. I think I'll, purpose? Yeah, no. I'll try and have at least 10 of each type. Because mm -hmm. I think baseline, that'll be worthwhile. Because the twig ones, they can make those blossoms bloom. Yeah. There we go. The fire ones can endure flames burn brambles down. Hatch pips. Oh, see, we need a fire fruit. Ah. Did you sell or store enough? We haven't found any yet. Oh, see, you oh. got fire fruits. So I think it might be dependent on what ones you throw. Oh, that could make sense. Let's see. Now we can get rid of that. I wonder if they can go near the bees. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh shit. Actually, okay. can you even attack him? It I think I might need like the rock ones or something. Yeah. Well... You know, something something big that can knock it out of the air. Mm -hmm. Cause he kind of he he I'm not gonna say shuddered, but there was kind of a I like, eh. Oh, hey. Oh, no, you need the explosive for the rock. Yeah, there was, there was like a... Oh, ugh. yeah, there's those. There we go. Oops. Oh, no, no. It's fine. I do not know what those are for. Uh, I guess we'll we'll get there when we get there. Oh, hey, look, there's a, one of the plants. Yeah, it opens up the... Lily pads. There we go. I love the shortcuts just all over the place. Like, mm -hmm. you see it, you know how to get it. It's just a matter of... Yeah, you're right. So it, it's purely just based on Which who's doing the throw? smacking. Mm -hmm. Okay, might as well just beat the snot out of this. 
as everything is expensive. Far too expensive. Was there anything fire related in here? A little bit. What I was going to go for was actually the the veggies or not mm. the veggies, the uh these plants. Cuz there's a bunch of them. Yeah. There we go. Cuz if I'm going to make a bunch more fire boys, I better have the plants to back it up. Mm -hmm. There we oh, go. Oh, there's some brambles over there. Yep. I think that's just shortcut. It's still nice to clear things out. Yep. Amberling pips. Boy, that's a lot. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay. Hatch pips. There are too many Spritelings in the field. That's fine. I now have 30. What? Look at my army grows. So, we really can have up to 75, potentially. I'm terrified of that. I hope I hope they just get bigger after a certain point. Mm -hmm. Or something changes. It's just if you have 30, though. Yeah, can you imagine if we get up to 100 and it's just like the screen is just <laughs> army? <laughs> I mean, they're small enough, but at the same time... Yeah, I don't wow. know. It'd be kind of neat if you could promote certain ones so they're slightly bigger and have interesting features. Yeah, so that they count as five. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a stronger one counts as five altogether. Maybe they have like a... You can set like a roll. It probably won't happen, but it would be cool if you, if you could have like... Yeah, this one does like ranged attacks or something like that. This one's the defender. This one's the pack mule. Yep. Where's a backpack? You can carry ten items. Yeah, it just increases your own like player inventory space. Just by existing. Uh oh, night's falling. So it is. It's not like we're very far. Oh, some of them are already getting ready to lift. Hopefully they make it in time. Yeah, they'll make it no problem. Because then you can have your museum. Yep. Uh oh. Is that a howl? Yeah, it's night. The night falls. Better go. Better leave now. Come on. Hopefully the babies will be able to get that giant truck over. I think they're safe. Or am I? Oh. No, they're on the move still, see? I think they'll be fine. Are they bringing it back to the warp point? Ooh. Oh no. Here. Hopefully they make it. Wild theory. What if I just go to bed? Where are they going to be when I come back? You wake up and they're all sorry gone. you lost them all in the night. They're they're still stuck out there. They didn't move. They didn't move, but it's daytime. Yeah. Are they still moving? I I think they're just standing there. I guess we'll find out. You don't have any creatures with you except the one. Uh, it's weird. I really hope you didn't break the game. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I didn't realize what time it was. I was like, eh, maybe they'll just drag it into town. The answer is no, they have to bring it to a warp point. So I think they all died in the night. Um, I told you you shouldn't have done that. I think they're all dead. Why? Why did all the only the flame guys stick around? Can you go back to town and and look at your how many spritelings well, you have in your inventory? I was just gonna go here. Yeah, they all died. They all died. 
Wander, I told you not to abandon them out there. Huh. You killed them all! Uh, today I learned. You killed them all! Well, that, that was tragic. It was very tragic. Wander, how could you? I... Learning is not fun. But it, it was something that I brought up as a possibility. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Now we know. Now we know not to do that. I feel so bad for them. You abandoned them, and they were slowly walking towards their objective in the dark. Yeah, I should I should have just called them back. That's fine. We can always get more. Haven't there been other games that we played where this happens? I oh I remember vividly playing a game where you did have to have creatures carry things and they could die. But for the life of me, I don't remember what it was precisely. I hope I get an ability later to throw more of these guys at once. I'm having serious delivery problems. Well, it's... Do you... Uh, was it an MMO? Maybe? I... There was like a... I'm just remembering that there would be minions and they would carry things for you, but... They could get attacked and die. Attacked and die. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. What I'm thinking of. Oh, oh! I'm getting flashbacks to the, uh... Oh, that one World of Warcraft dungeon e mode thing. Where you had the bunch of zombie creatures. Well, not zombie creatures, but the night fallen. Hmm. And it wasn't that they died, it's that if you had them pick up uh, something that required 10, you wouldn't be able to journey with them for the rest of your run. Yeah. I only vaguely remember this. Oh, my insistence on grabbing everything turned out to be the right choice. I mean, you've replenished your population. Yeah, it's... It's, it's just unfortunate. Yep. You probably should have intermixed what ones you sent, because now I don't think you have any fire ones at your eh. disposal. It fine. Now, what do you think the other spritelings were? Because we're going to we a know snowy we have region. Ice. We're going to an island region. Maybe that, is that water? Yeah, maybe ice, water, rock. We'll cross the lily pads with that. That seems. <laughs> those are some durable lily pads. Dang. Mm -hmm. Okay. Question, can I get them to push me? Nope. It looks like you the Spritelings have clipped through them. They clipped through you. They pushed me for a bit. Yeah, I, I'm seeing it. And then at a certain point, I'm just like, nope. Never mind. Well, this will give me the camper at the very least. Yeah, uh, and so far you have, what, the sword is the only object that you found for it? Yeah, which I don't think is actually that useful. I, I think it is purely just like a... Oh, hey, sword. Oh, these are trinkets. Yep. Do you want to go back just to see what it is? Uh... Oh. Bizarre! This rugged rickshaw is just the thing for the new Grove Trove. Come see me when you have the time. We'll finish setting the mu uh, setting this museum up. In the meantime, continue sending anything you find worthy of my collection, and I'll display them as soon as we're open. Yeah, let's go back. It's the end of the episode anyway. I just want to see what the... Whoa, all the rumbling. Yup. Do they do that just for the teleportation? Yep. It's a fun effect. Yeah, I definitely see water, rock, and maybe like a bug. I I don't... I think it would be elements. So... Yeah, Where I don't know what the bug would be. Maybe air. What oh, a look, there's the Game Boy thing. thing. Hmm? The Game Boy thing is in the window. Oh, yeah. And one of the creatures that... It looks like a sea urchin, yeah. but it also looks like one of those dust bunnies from... Oh, you're right. Uh, Totoro and yeah. Spirited Away. What a glorious day. The Grove Trove has new items on display, thanks to you and your Spriteling team. 
Take this as a reward. This reward is a small token of my gratitude. What can I do for you? Retro. The woodland blade. Hefty wooden sword, perhaps used as a practice weapon. Though the nix and its edge describe its age, it curiously seems to grow new sprigs and buds from time to time. So it's a living sword. But you can't go inside. It's... Nope. Oh, hey, can you get rid of that scrap? You're right. I can. But you, can you crawl up that wall? Yeah. Oh, it's a shortcut. Yeah, but we don't have the cauldron or the loose parts for it yet. Mm-hmm. We also have one of the cats just hanging out there. I bet this entire place becomes filthy just with cats by the end of the game. So many cats. Probably the case. But for now, at least, uh, this is a good stopping point. So we will see you guys in the next episode of The Wild at Heart, where we'll keep exploring, keep grabbing stuff, and eventually make some prog actual progress. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the next is, order of business would be... This is an extensive map, and look at how in. far out the yeah, we're exclamation just in, points are. Like one section. Well, okay, for that one, maybe. Yeah. But look at the other ones. I, yeah. Uh, no, you're right. Little side zones. Yeah. I don't know. Looking forward to it. But, until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.